lovely YouTube watchers, Maria Mitchell here bringing you another face painting tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to load up split cakes. If you're new to face painting, you'll have noticed that there's a lot of these out in the market. This makes face painting these days really convenient because you're able to um, brush on, paint on all these beautiful colors all at once. Now, sometimes we have problems with loading up brushes. I've been asked a few times this week by viewers um, asking for a tutorial on how to load them up properly. A lot of people seem to get their split cakes muddy, which means there's, you're putting too much water in them uh, to activate them. So I'm going to show you my top quick tips on how to load up your one stroke face painting cakes or your split cakes um, efficiently. First up, what you're going to need is a brush bath or just a cup of water. I like to use these brush baths because there's some ridges, as you can see at the bottom of the well, and that's when it just makes it easier for me to brush my brush up and down the, the bristles so we can um, get rid of any excess paint. So this is for the dirty water, and normally I'll use this to dip my brush in to activate the paints. You're gonna need some split cakes and some brushes. Now, let me just stress to you the importance of using proper face paints for achieving great results with one stroke um, split cakes and applying them. So any professional face paint store will have professional face paints for you to purchase. Um, you can check out my global colors range at facepaints.shop. You're gonna need a towel. I use a cotton towel. I always have one candy in my kit and baby wipes, any ordinary baby wipes, as long as they're damp. You could also use a damp towel and that also works. Now I'm just gonna stress how important it is to use the right brushes for one stroke face painting and applying um, your one strokes correctly. What I normally use would be a one inch flat brush. And if you have a look at this, um, one inch flat brush. This is a um, Paradise Makeup one inch flat brush. Uh, Global Colors make one. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Uh, but this is a proper face painting brush. And they're great because there's lots of bristles if you have a look on them. So that enables you to pick up a lot of paint. So when you are one stroking, you're allowed, you're able to apply more paint onto the skin. The reason why we like the one inch is because it picks up all of the colors of the split cakes. Three quarter inch flat brushes or three quarter inch angled flat brushes are fantastic. Um, on the reason people always ask me, why do you have an angled and why do you have a flat brush? I'll normally use the flat brush if I want to apply with one stroke split cakes, just a straight line or a very simple swirl. If I want to do complex things like butterflies or petals, I will use an angled brush because it enables me to keep my pencil grip holding the brush and in an angle it feels a lot more natural than drawing like this. Whereas if you've got just a flat brush, you're not drawing on an angle because you're placing more paint down here than what you are up there. So you'll get an uneven stroke. And the same thing goes with the half inch flat brush and half inch angled brush. So firstly, what we need to remember is when we're loading up our split cakes, we don't want to get too much water in the split cake because it would just mumble it all up, mumble all, mumble all the colors together, and it'll get all wishy-washy. The way I do it, and there are many ways of doing this, some people like to spray their split cakes and they know exactly how much water to get on there. The best way I know how is to grab your flat brush, dip it into the water right to the bottom of the ferrule so it's nice and saturated 
and then I'm going to get rid of any excess water just by swiping it along the edge on both sides of the brush. So on both ends, both sides, sorry. And then I'm just going to grab my split cake and I'm going to move, swipe the brush up and down the split cake. And I'm gonna do this a number of times. Now, it's best to also keep in mind that you've got to make sure that you go over the same colors and that you're not wiggling it about because um, then you won't pick up all of those colors individually. You won't get a crisp uh, stroke. So what I'm doing here is I am resting it to that side of the split cake, so the blue side. So then that's my reference point in where I'm swiping. So once I have enough paint on my brush, I like to just test it first. Yep, that's a good amount of paint. And then I can draw on or paint on my one stroke. And then once I've been painting, say I've just painted something, I've put on a stroke and I need to reapply. What I'll do now is I don't want to then wash off all of this paint and reload again because you want to make you know a good use out of these split cakes. They do cost a fair bit. So what I'll do is now I'm going to grab my brush, just dip it just at the tip of the water, as you can see, and then with your baby wipe, you're just going to dab. So it still keeps it moist, but you've gotten rid of any of that excess paint. So that is basically just getting, um, getting it ready for the next application of face paint on your, on, on your one inch flat brush. So now I've loaded up another amount of paint for my one stroke. So you can keep going you can keep applying, you can go over it again and again and again, and it wouldn't matter. You just need to make sure that you just ever so slightly tip your brush in to the, the brush bath or to your water well, and then apply again. That'll make it just the right amount, give it just the right amount of water to reload your brush. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.